Hi guys. It's actually, oops. <laughs> Should we try that again? It's actually uh, quarter to midnight. Uh, I haven't really done a lot. Well, I say that all I've done is uh, had a bit of a tidy up in here. I've actually cleared up all the junk, vacuumed, put things back where they're meant to be. Blah blah blah. Uh, got the wheels in my Claude here. So this is the one that I'm, oh, excuse me, this is the one that I'm definitely keeping now. Because I do actually have a use. I'm going to put the panniers on it. So I can take this one to the shops. I don't have to keep buying friggin' carrier bags just to carry my groceries home. I just stick them in my arms, go out to my bike, stick them in the panniers, ride home. Empty the pan years out while I'm doing that with the camera. Um, the inner tube for this back wheel is actually laying in the middle of my hall floor at the minute because I got pissed off with it. I fixed two punctures and then found another two further along, so I'm thinking I'm not going to keep wasting freaking patches on that tube. I'll just find one tomorrow. So, uh, just bear with me for a minute. Turn the radio off on GTA so I didn't get that music in the background. I don't want to get flagged up for that. Anyway, I'm a little bit pissed off as well because those uh, solar lights I bought are now turning themselves off a matter of minutes after turning on. Just like those cheap ones, so that is pissing me off. I don't know if it's they do that when the batteries are low or what, I don't know, but I didn't expect it after spending, you know, seven pounds on each of them for them to start doing the same fucking thing the cheap ones did. So, uh, yeah, I am rather annoyed. They were working fine, they were running throughout the night, so... Uh, anyway... Going back to this, I'm guessing, going by what I've found on this, that uh, this was probably a well-used and loved bike by the person who owned it, because, uh, well, we can say well-used because there's quite a few chips in the paintwork here and there. Um, the jockey wheels in the rear mech here are um, knackered indicating a lot of use. The chain is well oiled, indicating that someone liked to take some care with with the bike. Um, it actually looks like it's had new cables fitted at some point, because this gear cable at the rear here does look brand new on this. It really does, so... Either that or it's just been dry stored and... Uh, You know, like I said, looked after. Mechanically, it looks like it's been looked after anyway. But uh, I suppose if it's been in a garage or a shed or something or knocked over, whatever, it's uh, going to get the chips in the paintwork. But uh, the frame's not going to rust, it's an aluminium frame. <laughs> The forks are steel though, front forks are steel, the stem is aluminium, handlebars are steel, my seat post is steel, that's the only one I could find to fit. Uh, and the fact that this one fits, but it didn't fit the other Claude Butler, tells me that the um, diameter of the tubing on this Claude Butler is actually smaller 
than the other black clawed butler that's downstairs, which I'm selling. That's the one I'm going to sell. Because uh, the way I see it is, I don't need two Claude Butler mountain bikes. But I could have a one Claude Butler mountain bike and one Claude Butler hybrid. So, uh, Nemo's been fed, so I think he's just after a bit of attention. He always is when I've got the camera on. Uh, apart from that, I haven't really done sod all. Um, and as for tomorrow, oh, the other thing I know that this has had a lot of use is the fact that both sets of brake blocks are well and truly worn. <laughs> so I've got to replace those. There's probably still a bit of grip on them, but they are worn right down to the wear line, so I'll change those. As for this rear derailleur mech, I'm not sure if I'm going to change the whole derailleur, which would entail a bit more work and a bit more pissing around, or change the um, jockey wheels. I'll have a look in my box tomorrow and see what I've got. I'm not really too fussed either way, it's not going to be that hard to change the bloody derailleur. Split the chain. That would be the easiest option. That would be the, I think that would be, it's going to be the greasiest option because that's a well and truly oiled chain. But it would be the easiest. Dirtiest but easiest. <laughs> uh, clean these wheels up. Find a tube for the back wheel. I've got plenty, I think, in my box. I did have them hanging, hanging there. Gee. Hanging on there until I had a clean up. I put them in the top of my yellow box of inner tubes in my outside closet. I keep flashing up panning too fast for some reason. It doesn't all the way, so I'm not sure why it's doing it now. Anyway, the closet outside the front door, that is. <sighs> but uh, I've got to clear a load of crap off the top of it to get to it, so... And by the time I figured out, or found out, I should say, that that tube was beyond repair, pretty much. Um, it was too late to go digging around in that cupboard, so... That's a job for tomorrow. Uh, crank, or the bottom bracket bearings, I should say, are okay. There's no play there. Gears, as far as I know, function. I've only shifted the rear gears up to first, but I haven't actually shifted down yet. But usually, if they go up into first easy enough, they'll come back down just as smoothly. So, um, about 90, 90, about 98% confident now. I'll uh, shift down properly, may need a tweak. But uh, if I end up changing the whole mech at the back, they're going to need setting up again anyway. <laughs> so that's a bit pointless. There's the ass because I have I've got another derailleur like that, but I might as well just put the whole derailleur on instead of swap the jockey wheels. <coughs> they're detachable jockey wheels. So I presume I could get spare, spare ones if I wanted to. Oh well. In fact, if I want to put an identical derailleur on this, I could just nick it off a bike downstairs. Oh! That actually reminds me, I have got one identical spare downstairs. It's laying on the shelf. It was on the Giant, but I changed it and put the original one back on. But it, the one I the one I wanted to put on the derailleur was on the giant I should say, it was identical to this one. A Shimano Tawny. Um put a real or changed my mind and put the original derailleur mech back on the giant. So yes, I do have a spare one. So that's that'll be my job for tomorrow then. Swap it. <laughs> I might as well uh, 
it'll be just as easy to be honest. I'll bring my panniers up as well so I can strap those on. Brake blocks aren't an issue, I've actually got some I've already um, sorted, I've got th three pairs there. Not sure which two pairs I'm going to use, but there is three pairs there. And they've got a darn sight more meat on those than the ones on the bike. <laughs> See, this, for some reason a lot of YouTubers I watch like to have bare feet, so I'm joining the club. Uh, RJ, RJ the bike guy I watch, he's always working on bikes and barefoot. I couldn't do that. I'd be so worried I was going to drop a screwdriver or a hammer or a knife or something on my foot that I, ha I have to wear something, even if it's just socks up here. But I've usually got my toe cap boots on anyway. Oh, I don't know how he can... <laughs> I don't know how RJ can um, work on bikes and barefoot. I really don't. Right. Uh, it's rather windy tonight. Not super duper gale force winds, but there is a wind out there. That's um, not like this time of year, actually. This is where the time of year when it's usually still and hot and humid and horrible. I've got a fat burn. I've got something, bro. Yeah. Oh, yep. I don't think I dare do that too hard. I need to pee. <sighs> Somehow on this, I've got to fit a reflector and a light. Although, having said that, I may get the light I want on this under the sink. It's a big mic though, because I don't want it to be obscured by anything on here or the panniers sitting on here, but I don't think it will. Because when the panniers lay over it, they're not going to be any higher than that bit here. And that is... Okay, that should be alright then. Should be alright. Then I need to make a decision, because technically I'll have two hybrid bikes although they're different hybrid bikes because I've got the Carrera with all the you know the um, nine speed rear wheel two speed front so technically an eight, 18 speed you know really skinnier wheels than these you know the sort of bike that you could really get some speed up on ideal an ideal long distance riding bike if you don't like you know, the racing bikes or road bikes with the drop down handlebars. Because um, I was contemplating selling that one as well as I've got this one. But as they've got two different purposes, I actually think I'll keep them both. Although I may go pinch the lights off the other one. <laughs> can't tell me you want more food in your dish. Or do you want some biscuits? Is that what you're after? Yeah, it's, I put this on Gumtree along with my black Claude Butler. The other one I did up. Uh, and the Flymo Leaf Blower because that's no use to anyone. I don't need it at Mum's. Uh, I don't need it. I was going to play with it and get it running but I can't be asked anymore. For all I know, it might even run. I don't know. My friend didn't know. He was just get. He just didn't want it. So he was going to dump it. So I rescued it with the intentions to have a look at it and get it to run. But like I said, I've actually just lost interest now and want it gone. So I stuck it on um, Gumtree for a tenner. Spares or repairs. Um, but I stuck this up for five pounds, and someone asked if I would take this on the train to Norwich but uh, <laughs> if it weren't for the fact the train fare is going to cost me more 
than what I'm actually selling this frame for, then uh, yeah, it would. But train fare is going to cost something like seven pounds and some odd pence, and I'm selling this for five pounds. <laughs> I'd be out of pocket. <laughs> so uh, no, that and I don't actually have the train fare anyway. I've got no money at the moment. Unless Mum gets paid tomorrow and can pay me back, but uh, we'll see. Bloody hell, it's midnight already. Time is flying. Uh, I can see you. Oh, I think he's got the right idea. I think I'll be playing GTA for long. I don't know if I'll bother with any of the cheats. I might just drive around, smash up some cars and run people over. Typical Trevor sort of stuff. <laughs> Someone just walked past my car and shouted asshole. No, I'm not playing it online either. I don't go online. did once on the PS3, but it's pretty much dead on the PS3. Ever since the PlayStation 4 came out, no one, I don't think anyone actually plays GTA on the PS3, except me. <laughs> I actually did go online for five minutes and there's one person on the server I was on. And they disappeared shortly afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really interested in the online stuff. Right, I think I'm going to call it quits and put this video up. I do apologise, it's not very interesting. Uh, yeah, the only thing I'll be doing tomorrow is this. And if I can find a way, perhaps I could sit this camera on that chair, actually. Yeah, that's about the right height. I think it's actually raised itself again, I may have to drop it, but... Yeah, I could sit the camera on that chair and then put the chair over here. Then you could watch me sort of work on the bike, I suppose. It's better than um, me shutting the camera off, doing the work, and then turning it back on. You'd have something to watch, wouldn't you? Yeah, I like that idea. I'm going to get this rear derailleur done first, I think, because that's, that's the hardest job. Well, actually, I'll get the puncture fixed. Or the flat tyre fixed. Uh, then I'll get the derailleur done. And then I can sort the brakes out, then I can go for a ride. That's all it needs. It's pretty good, because I only paid £5 for the bike. <laughs> well, the bike frame, because that's pretty much all it was. Put a photo of it up on Facebook today as well. No seat or post on it, and um, you no, know, I actually said above the photo, got another Claude Butler, and someone put in the comments, most of. Which, um, yeah, actually, most of it was there, apart from the wheels and the seat and the post. Everything else was there. <laughs> And I already had the wheels, so and they fit quite snugly on this frame. It's almost like they were made for the bike. <laughs> nice clean spokes, so the wheels are actually nice and clean. Yeah, I actually think that's going to be quite a dream to ride when I've just sorted this rear drive. Rear drive, right, because it's a bit clunky and crunchy. And I know it's that rear derailleur because one of the jockey wheels is actually wobbling around from side to side and it's... It's not meant to, not like that anyway. And the teeth are not meant to be like little needles either. So that's the other reason that I'm going to change it. I could piss around changing the jockey wheels, but nah. I'll take it, I'll take it off and I'll swap it, but I will keep that Dralia as spares, because um, you can replace the jockey wheels. Uh, 
And other than the jockey wheels, it is still a good Doralia, so I will keep it. It's just annoying me that the back wheel has got like half a dozen bloody punctures in it. If it was just those two I fixed, I would have left it, but uh, no. <laughs> Right, well I'm going to shut the camera off, go take a pee, hopefully I'll see Mum tomorrow. Uh... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to play there. <laughs> I'll try again. Definitely not going to play GTA for too long. I can't think of anything else I actually need to do or want to do tomorrow other than work on that. Which, if it takes me any longer than an hour, shouldn't do. Not really. Just depends how smoothly changing the parts is going to go. <laughs> you can never tell. But I'll have to. Drop it down in the seventh. Disconnect the gear cable. Break the chain in half because that's the easiest way to do it and pull the chain through the drailer. Bolt, unbolt this one, bolt the new drailer on. Reattach the chain, reattach the gear cable. And if I'm lucky, I won't have to set the gears up because it'll go straight into first. If I'm lucky. Um, it has actually happened. I actually did it on the other Claude Butler I did up. <laughs> Didn't have to um, tweak the gears. Um, so that's why I like Claude Butlers. Claude Butlers are good to me, so I'm good to them. <laughs> yeah, they're a decent brand over here. They are a British company, or British brand. Uh... We do get the American Schwins over here, but they're not that common. They're not actually stocked in cycle shops, but you can look at their catalogues and they can order th other bikes in if they haven't got it in stock. Most cycle shops do, anyway. It's the same with parts. Any parts that aren't commonly required they usually don't stock but they'll order in um, so if you can't see it on the shelves and go and ask the guy behind the counter or the girl could be a girl anyway less rambling I'm gonna bugger off play some GTA and then bugger off to bed randomness of GTA <laughs> right so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all tomorrow and I promise you I'll set this camera up so you can actually watch me working on the bug deal? good see you tomorrow